I'm extremely anxious, you know, I'm really excited to get on the floor, it's been a while, but um, having to wait is going to be a little bit um, frustrating, but I'm going to prepare and I'm going to practice like I'm playing tomorrow, like I'm playing the first game, and I'm just going to be prepared and help my teammates um, going forward. What, what's the biggest change that you've seen since you got here last winter and to where you are today in terms of just the team overall? Um, just the pace, I just feel like we're all here, we're all invested and we're all ready to go. Um, physically, I'm trying to get as strong as I can, and I'm trying to get as fast as I can. And I feel like over the summer, I've definitely gotten faster, gotten stronger. And mentally, I'm just in a space where I'm just trying to be the best I can be for my teammates right now. Can you talk about the movement to March and how this team is all in on trying to get to the postseason? Yeah, we definitely want a postseason, and that's the goal. That's the ultimate goal. So we're here, and we're working, and that's what we're aiming for. How beneficial was the extra time that you've been able to be with the program, even though not playing, but being here last semester? Oh, it's great. It's learning the culture and being able to um, know what I'm coming into, know what we're building. And it's definitely, we've definitely built from when I just, like, it's so different from when I just first got here to now. And I'm just really excited because the culture is great and we're heading somewhere. You talk about the culture. You can tell there's a chemistry with this team For already. Sure. And, and y'all haven't even played a game yet. Can you talk about the camaraderie that you guys already have? Um, definitely. I think we're all just on the same page. So we know what we want. We know what we're going to do and we know how we're going to get there. We trust in our coaches and we um, are ready to go. You got a conference freshman of the year last year in, in Chris Lynn. What is it about her and, and where she's at right now that makes her really special? Um, well, she's on another level. So she's a great player. I haven't seen speed like it ever. And I feel like she's just gotten better. Like, it's going to be a great season for her. How does her speed maybe help with the, the pace and the tempo of just being a point guard and kind of being the quarterback of this offense? Well, for her being so fast, it makes our offense fast paced as well. So we're easily, we're, we're getting in transition, transition defense, transition offense, easy buckets, and I feel like she's a great leader of this team. How close do you think this team is, you know, being ready to go fly up and down the court like you guys want to? We're getting there, we're getting there. We're definitely not where we want to be, but we're going to get there. So what do you feel like you bring to the team? Um, I feel like I bring a leadership. I feel like I bring um, experience. And I feel like I am I work hard and I'm going to knock down some shots for this team. And I'm really excited for this season. Um, definitely my physicality. I know I need to up that. Um, and then just being with all those girls, that was like really like the experience of a lifetime. And um, knowing how important it is to get into the gym, get my teammates in the gym. Stuff like I hope that. your confidence too. Oh, yeah, for sure. It really helped my confidence. How do you feel like you improved from last season to now? Um, physicality has gone up. Um, confidence has gone up. You pointed that out. Um, really just like I feel overall ready for the season, so I'm excited. What's your ultimate goal for this season? Um, NCAA tournament, that's my ultimate goal. What, how would you describe the togetherness, togetherness of this group right now and just the chemistry? Yeah, the togetherness of this group is definitely special. Um, we all are really dedicated to what we're going to do here, and um, I just think overall we're excited to play with each other. Even Jada out there, who's um, a red shirt, she's really together with us and supporting us in that way as well. What do you think that fans can expect from the guard play this year, especially with you know a couple of freshmen that are competing for starting jobs? Yeah, so there's definitely a competition for a starting spot. Um, we can expect a lot of threes. We've got some really good shooters, and um, Boogie's a great ball handler as well, so we're excited to see her do her thing. Ready to get after it for your senior year? Yes, I'm so ready for my senior year. I'm very excited. Who around you do you think has improved the most from the end of last season to where we are today? Um, that's a hard question. I would say since there's only three returners, really. Right. Um, you can say yourself. Yeah, I was like myself probably has improved like a lot. I, re I worked really hard this summer, and um, I'm really excited to show you guys how hard I worked. So. Do you have any concerns when basically working with like, the whole team? Um, no, not really, because we worked really hard this summer and we tried to drill in um, the cohesiveness and stuff like that. And so I think we're going to do really good as a team. You mentioned the hard work this summer. A lot of that is with Coach Ralph. Is this the most in shape that you felt? Yeah, definitely. I think we really emphasize our shape because we want to play fast and we want to be able to like keep up with that and beat teams down the court. And so I think really everyone bought into that. What uh, improvements have you seen from Chris from freshman year? Um, definitely she's more vocal and she's really taking in that leadership role whereas last year it was kind of like she had to be forced to do it almost and now she's really like taken in pride for it and um, she really wants this team to succeed and I know she's got my back so I'm excited for her. What, what, uh, what have you seen from Lexi as well? I mean you've been able to work with her for a while now but how exciting is it to know she's going to be on the court with you guys soon? Oh it's so exciting to see that Lexi's going to be on the court with us. Um, it's disappointing that she won't be right there in uh, non-conference for a little bit but She's going to attack whatever team she comes out and plays against. It's going to be awesome. And she's really brought a lot of good stuff from UConn, um, how hard they work. Um, 
and her work ethic is like unmatched. She's a really good worker. So. Do you have any plans after this season? Do I? Like after graduation, after the season, what are your plans? Yeah, I'm hoping to play in the WNBA, so that's my plan. <laughs> Specific team? Hmm? Specific team? Uh, no. <laughs> so the, the togetherness and the culture and you guys coming together, was there a specific event that inspired that or was it new faces or just turning over a new page? What, what do you think was the turnaround on that? I think it was really turning over a new page um, and really getting everyone on board really quick. Um, as soon as they came in, we like latched on to them and we're like, hey, this is what we're about. We don't want to have any lagging and we want to start off really strong. So I think it's really like everyone that was a returner took in a new person and got him on the same page. So. Last year was the movement and this year it's the movement to March. Can you talk about that and how this team's all in on that? Yeah, we are all in. Movement to March. We really want to make it to the NCAA tournament and um, we don't want anything less than that. Um, that's the only tournament we want to be in and so we're going to work really hard to get there. And so, yeah. Why Texas Tech? Um, I chose Texas Tech because of the culture. Definitely because of Coach Marlene, Coach Nick, Coach Eliza, Coach, Coach Malika. They had a plan for me that I felt like I can buy into only here. Only this program wanted me way more than anyone else. And they showed that on my official visit and I could feel it when I was here. Even my parents, we knew after the first, after this was our first visit, we knew that this was the place to be. So that's why I chose to come here. How do you feel like Coach Stallings utilizes your strengths? Let's say that again? How do you feel like Coach Stallings utilizes your strengths? Well, she knows my game. Uh, she's come to play in my games in travel ball and she's seen me play and um, she's utilizing me in the offense, putting me in positions to score, so um, whatever that is, whatever she needs, I'm just going to do that for her and the team. What would you say your strength is? My strength? My strength is my mid-range game. So anywhere from the free throw line extended, that's my game. And Coach Marling, like I said, she knows that. But in order for me to be a, a complete player, in my opinion, would have to be to be able to play everything. So uh, while I'm here, uh, they're helping me improve on my three-point shooting, which I really appreciate because I think that's really going to be impactful for the team, and it's going to make it super duper hard for um, defenders to guard me to be able to pull up, go to the basket, make threes, all of that, dribble, everything. Well, Lexus, I guess what did you learn from Presley in her first year when she was able to get these all, the all big twelve honors and all that? I guess what what did you kind of ask her about in terms of the work you have to kind of put in to kind of get those done? Well, I can definitely see her work at the in strength and conditioning and in practice, so I know that um, I can definitely replicate that. And in practice, just to work hard every day. Um, I know I'm going to make mistakes. I'm a human. It, it's going to happen, but I know that I have teammates to support me, and I have coaching staff that I can always go to and ask questions. So I just know that uh, it's my freshman year, big deal, whatever, but I'm here to work, and I'm here to play, and I'm here to help my team. So. Brittany mentioned that uh, some of the older players were like latched on to freshmen and, and some of the new patients. Who was, who was the person that I guess you were coupled with? Uh, that's a good question. I could probably say on my visit, Brittany, CC, Dre, some of the other players that left, but a lot of them, they were they were very influential on my decision here, and I was really close to them. The, the coach said during the offseason, you guys have had like, I guess, bonding. I mean, what? how, how has that helped you guys get closer? And uh, have you been, have you seen what you thought you would, I guess, from this group? You know? Yeah, definitely. On on the visit, I already knew that they were all great people, all great players. And then when we would have uh, team bonding events where we would go to the movies or we would go to dinner or whatever, and we would just hang out on our own time, I could just tell that they were great people and that not only were they going to help me become a better person, but also a better player on the court. So I just definitely appreciate that. And, of course, we... Uh, we're all friends on the team, like we're all cool, like we get along so so great and I really appreciate that because that's what I want to have on a college team. Yeah. So. Um, honestly, I haven't been on a team like this in a while. Um, we're just there for each other when things get hard, like when practice, when, when we're running, we're just all talking to each other in the locker room, like we all hang out with each other. It's just such a fun team to be part of, like we all love each other, it's just sisterhood for real. You mentioned just being there for each other when you hear that Lexi doesn't get eligibility immediately to start off the season. How have you seen her respond to that? Man, she is coming every day pushing us to be better. She brings positive energy. She's always um, intense and she's talking and like being a great leader. So it's great. What can we expect to see from you this season? Um, you can expect to see high energy, um, a lot of points. Um, I'll be dining my teammates, um, playing great defense, um, just trying to be a leader on the floor. Even though I'm a freshman, I still want to have like an impact 
whether it's with the ball or without the ball, but definitely um, just want to um, help my teammates score and score myself. So what, uh, what made you want to come here? Um, I saw what my coaches did at Minnesota. When I came on my visit, um, I saw that even when they weren't talking to me directly and they were interacting with each other, like the coaching staff, that they were just a huge family and that's exactly what I wanted to be a part of. Um, I feel like I play better when I love who I'm around and I'm, um, it feels like a family, so that's why. What do you feel like your biggest strengths are going to be when you, while you're out there on the court? Um, I love to score, um, love to shoot threes, but I love to attack as well. But um, yeah, putting the ball in the basket. Coach seems like she gives everybody a green light. Has she given you any speeches on when and what, when, when not to shoot, or is it a green light for you? Is it me specifically or Just the you, whole team? Yeah. Oh, um, I mean, she's let that thing loose, so. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel like you can improve on? Um, I know when I get tired, I need to talk more. But um, just trying to maintain um, high energy the whole game. Um, just bringing energy the whole time. Yeah, even when I'm tired, because it's not about me, it's about the team. What are like some pre-game rituals that you do? Um, I pray before the games. Um, that's really all I do. I just trust in God. God got me. <laughs> do you think this group is going to go out and surprise a lot of teams in the Big 12? Yeah, I feel like because of our past um, history, we might get overlooked, but that's perfectly fine because we work extremely hard every day, so we come in for everybody. How special would it be to get to, to March Madness for Brittany and, you know, send her off the right way as a senior? Yeah, I mean, she's definitely our team leader, and as a senior, we want to just make everything happen for her, so definitely want to get there for her because it's her last year. We love her. I feel like I've improved on me talking, just being vocal and getting my teammates more involved, whether that's me passing, whether that's me talking, just knowing what the right play is too, and just, like I said, getting them involved and setting them up for success. Talking with some of your teammates, they say your leadership has really stepped up. Why was it important for you to be able to take that lead for sophomore year? Well, it's important because uh, last year I got a big 12 freshman of the year, so it, last year I really didn't talk that much and I knew what I needed to bring to the table to make the team better and to make us go longer, um, better in the um, conference. So I feel like me just talking and stepping up was a big role I had to take on. Brittany and Lexi talked about the emphasis that this team has to advance the postseason this year. How special would it be for you to be able to give that to Brittany in her senior season? It's very special because Brittany deserves it. She's been through a lot. She works hard every day. She brings energy every day and just uplift, uplift, uplifts us every day. And she's just a great person and she deserves it. I feel like this group is going to go surprise some Big 12 teams. Yeah, I feel like we're going to surprise them. I feel like we got a, we got a lot of things that we owe people. Mm -hmm. So I feel like us just being underdogs is a great way to come up on top and show them what we have. Can you talk about Lexi and what she's brought to this team? Lexi, she's an incredible shooter. She reminds me of Stephen Curry. It's really crazy. She barely misses. Um, and she just brings energy every day to the table, and she always um, encourages her teammates. So she's going to be a great fit for this team. Somebody that had so much success as a freshman, how do you, how do you, I guess, tell the the younger group that's here now? I mean, how do you lead them, and what have you told that group, and what have you seen from those the freshmen? Um, I see a lot of confidence. They all have confidence in what they can do and what they can bring to the table. So it's just staying the course, of being patient, and taking on whatever their role is, and just being a part, a important part of the team. You see maybe a little of yourself in them, I mean, how, how you were a year ago? Yeah, they're all very special. They all can score the ball in any position, so it's going to be a really great special team to watch this year. What will we see different with your game this year? I would say taking on the leadership role more, um, passing more, uh, dribbling in, kicking out, scoring, just taking the right shots, taking uh, the right pass, just getting my teammates more involved. Are you, you're not a talker by nature, are you? No. Because <laughs> it's been hard for you, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. How have, you, how have you overcome that? Is that just a mindset? Um, I feel like when I went to the USA trials, just seeing that everyone lead and what kind of presence you can bring to the team, and just knowing that being vocal is one of the key things to being successful. So that um, helped me a lot in that area. Yeah, Brittany talked about when she went to the USA, did the Team USA stuff, it helped her confidence. Did it help your confidence as well? It most definitely helped my confidence, especially just talking. Like I said, just seeing everybody talking and leading their teammates. And just seeing, like, just looking back and um, seeing that, just see what I want to do and what I want to bring to this team. 
Brittany said that she, she seems like she's much more physical after her, her time with Team USA. Have you noticed a difference in her, her game? Almost definitely. She they ain't there about to dunk on people how aggressive she is. <laughs> she just um she brings her aggressiveness every time, no matter who's guarding her, who's in the way, she doesn't let nobody get in the way. How much can that help you guys uh, this season? It's going to help a lot, just her being physical and knowing that people have to guard her, so that's going to help open up everybody else and get up, get their shots. So it's going to be really great to see that. How do you feel like the team has strengthened your abilities? Sorry, Keith. How do you feel like the team has strengthened your abilities? Um, just They just help me be more confident, um, believing in me to take on the leadership role, and just knowing that I – that what I say is going to be heard. So that's been very special to me, just knowing that they all have my back.